Hi there, this is Peter Conway from Alpha 5 Masterclass and Mentoring. The question was how do we uh, show a web page alternate uh, rows in different orientations, so what, one row left, one row right, etc. And um, we've got some uh, concept here where it goes into breaking into the A5W page and making the edits within that page and uh, that's just something that um, I really don't like doing and um, made the point that uh, if you want to get these this effect that their alphas now so sophisticated in its ability to to deliver a product without a lot of code that uh, there are many ways of doing things so if we have a look here we could see here that the code was was showing uh, the imagery uh, continually on the right hand side. If we scroll down through some more samples we can see ultimately the type of thing that's being required but there's quite a bit of HTML type uh, work going on in there to um, manually or to configure this uh, this information. Some of the solutions are to use uh, third-party editors and so on and so forth to uh, attempt to to get some solutions for manually configuring the information. It's my view that um, Alpha 5 in with its uh, grid can live from the data get the results that people want. So if we can if we have another look here the brief is, is showing us where the information and how the alignments are supposed to um, take place. Now uh, what I'd like to show you is um, this page. So the page that's on the screen now basically looks like what's required. We can scroll down this page and we can look at it and it seems to have all the information here. There's plenty of provision to put the menus etc over on the left hand side in a different frame. You can see that it's running in a A5W page up the top here. And we can also see that if I click on the print button that uh, indeed I can um, get a print version of the content that's on that page very easily from the server and that's a very nice function to have. So how was this done? Well the answer is it wasn't done with any HTML basically in the A5W page. You can see the same page running here as a grid. So if there's the grid design and if I go to the live preview Indeed, the page is just going to display exactly the way it appeared in the web page over here. So, how is this done? Well, it's quite a uh, complex um, thing to think through, but once you do get through it, you you find that it's not that difficult. Firstly, the layout designs in the selected columns look quite simple, and there aren't many of them. The power behind it all is the ability to insert frames and containers to make the adjustments to suit the specification and what you're trying to achieve. The big trick with this though was how did we alternate these pages? Now in the samples that we saw earlier there were two grids, maybe more. This is one grid, so at what point does the grid know to swap out the information and so if it's an an odd number at the left up the top here if the row is an odd number it's got to do one thing if the row is an even number it's got to do another so let's take a look at that we can come in here and we can see that I what I've done is I need two sets of the same data to achieve this task one sets in the first container and one sets in the second container. Now the, the, the first set uses the original file field um, from the selected fields. That is image, about, and in the uh, query I calculate some new ones. And I say that the right hand side image is equal to the image field, that the right hand side about is, is equal to the about, 
and the right hand side name which I don't use in the demonstration is equal to the field name. So there they are there. This gives me an access to a duplicate of the content. What I then do is that I say over here, let's just highlight that a bit, there's a custom event being written in the JavaScript. It's only tiny and I'll show you how to do it as I was shown how to do it. And it says that if the ev if the row number is even equals false, so that this would be an odd number, then it needs to display this container. This one says that if the even is even is equal to true, in other words 2, 4, 6 or 8, it needs to display this container. The location it gets that information from is from a tiny bit of JavaScript that's tucked away down here in the function declarations. And that is, that's basically it. But here it is here, and um, this JavaScript is easy. You can just either rekey it from there or I'll, I'll paste it into the, uh, into the uh, post as well. But you can see there that um, it's very simple. It's, it's creating a function called is even row dot, uh, row num and uh, it's just checking the mode to see whether or not it is zero or not zero. So let's go back and have a look at that running again. So I'll just do a refresh. Works terrific. Works really well. Let's pop back here and we'll see some of the other things that I've done to make this happen. In the containers, the great thing with containers is this in the show hide expression is that is that you can make it applicable to a group of items contained within the container. Having subsets of containers is very powerful because it, it lets you lay out uh, various columns across the page, so one and two. You can see what I'm doing there, they're just sitting left or right of each other. When we look in the, um, the frames that I've put around them, that are in that are set to zero as borders they don't have a border but I'm managing the width of what's being displayed in a, in a borderless frame and then I only need to do this once I need to just set some spacing to nicely space out what's appearing on the screen so here I've got you know a five pixel border around everything to make it all nice and padded and in this particular case in the about on the left hand side it's got a 15 pixel space here to stop the data crashing into the image and I've also got the frame type set to simple but by all means if you wanted to set that to uh, to modern you could do that and um, and it would look and it would look fine um, but uh, in this case the brief is that we're setting it to uh, simple because um, that's just how it looks but by all means you can set it to modern so down here this duplicate of uh, this duplicate works really really well these are just duplicate calculated fields that are exact uh, replicas of the uh, original one and uh, here by the way if you look at image up here I'm setting it to 200 width by 350 or 350 width by 200 high and 350 width by 200 high that gives me consistency in the images and then that seems to work nicely that could be any any number that works for you the frames I'm setting here at 340 wide that gives me a nice uh, size frame the same width basically as the picture by the time you take in the spacing as for the uh, the footer and the header as this one grid can become the page uh, I can pop down here and I can say that um, in the above in the above grid I've got um, the information I need just formatted there with the image so that's fine and uh, if we just come out of there and we can then go and have a look at the um, we'll just cancel that and we'll have a look at the below grid and uh, there it is there we can just have a look and that's um, nice and simple so there's no issue with that and uh, when it and what else do we have to look at there uh, prob probably not a lot more but um, what you can see here now is the extraordinary power 
that um, it, the way this is coming into the uh, grid from the database and here's the data um, this is what's displaying in those pages there's uh, the memo HTML files and you can see here that even the page links um, that when we go over here and do a page link I'll uh, come down to this uh, it pop it opens up in a new page that's all really powerful stuff that's just um, uh, terrific flexibility coming directly from the from the data itself um, uh, directly from the table so that's really good stuff and nice and powerful so you can see here that um, all of the images that, that are displaying on the page and all of the um, the the text are just part of the table so there it is that's how you can make an entire web page without any edits to the A5W page at all and we'll just prove that by popping back to the A5W page and we'll just take a look in there and the only thing that's sitting in there is the grid itself so there it is there it just sits in that page once so I really hope that that helps a lot of people understand the enormous power w within the grid and uh, with what I'm doing with my tutorials that will be coming out in the um, uh, Alpha 5 Masterclass, you'll be able to get uh, very detailed information on how to uh, customize these pages both graphically and uh, with the with the data and the the opening and the printing of reports etc uh, for your own use in your own development and um, and get you going nice and quickly uh, with very professional looking pages. Well, look, I hope you have found that of benefit and uh, um, it's been a good exercise and well worth pursuing and uh, how we can help. Thank you.